Meditation is a really powerful tool that we can all use in the comfort of our home to retrain our nervous system, to reprogram our subconscious beliefs, and to really discover the innate self-healing intelligence that we contain. And in the process of meditation, there's the the brain waves, the the sort of these characterized states of delta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma that bring us uh, a little bit of a semblance of understanding or clarity about what these different states that we can go into and how they are experienced in the body and then kind of tuning into that in real time as it's happening. So this this process is kind of like understanding that we have different layers, different gears, different systems that are always functioning. And as we tune into this conscious reality that, that we're aware of, we have a certain level of awareness that there is things that we have operating sort of in the background, like these, these programs that don't necessarily reach our cog- conscious awareness on a, on a daily basis or in the moment to moment awareness. And in many ways, this is very helpful because if all of that information was always available to us, it, it could be overwhelming. And at the same time in meditation, a big part of what we're doing is making that unconscious conscious. And gradually over time, as we hone in on the nervous system, as we tune into the amount of energy, the amount of flow, the amount of uh, awareness that we have, we can start to bring more and more of that unconscious awareness into the conscious as literally the nervous system is toned to receive more and more awareness in the present moment. So this this process of subconscious reprogramming or becoming aware of these underlying thought patterns, this is essentially one of the first things that happens when we're in meditation, when we're able to go deeper within ourselves is we hear thoughts and we understand that not all of the thoughts are true or not all the thoughts are accurate or representative of what we actually feel. And at the same time, they all have a place, a place to be heard at the very least when we're sitting and when we can experience them in a safe, receptive way, we can sort of tweak them or tune them, if that makes sense. It's like a simple experiential way to say, what's going on within me? How can I address, say, my attitudes or my beliefs about a thing so that they're more representative, more accurate of objective reality and and accurate of the world that I wish to live in or the person that I wish to be. And in this process of reprogramming our thoughts and our beliefs, we oftentimes it's it's just this process of, of letting go of things and of sort of returning back to our original state, if you will. And that being in this in this natural state is it, it, it can take many different um, dimensions or feelings. There's there's the simple natural state where it, it's almost like this primitive primal state of you're just sitting, you're just one with nature, almost the same way you'd imagine a monkey or some other creature would be sitting in nature. And then realizing that because we are human beings, we have a much deeper, uh, just advanced nervous system, a more evolved um, biological system that allows us to attain higher states of consciousness. And not to say that an animal couldn't necessarily, but we are unique in our in our abilities, let's just say that. And so to recognize that we do have this unique capacity to realize ourself or to realize the fact that we are living in a universe that is billions of years old, that we are in many ways the creators of our own lives, that we have this thing that religions would call free will or or agency or choice um, and working through our habits and our patterns and our subconscious belief systems help us helps us to really realize that ability to have free free choice or free will that Oftentimes, because of the subconscious programming, we feel conditioned into doing this, this, that, that, and the other. And oftentimes, our true uh, free will gets um, waylaid, if you will, into into these um, patterns or or cycles 
of energy that we've already put into motion. So taking that step back to uh, slow down all of those processes and programs and really recognize what we need most in this moment and tuning into that in, in a med meditative practice can just be something as simple as, oh, I need to shift my hips this way or that way, or oh, I need to open my heart a little bit more or anything, anything simple like that. And, and then as we move into these deeper states, perhaps there becomes a greater intuition of how the um, brain body or the mind body connection is um, deeply um, embedded in a way where we can sort of tune our thoughts into each of our organs or into the musculature of the spine or into the energy of our body and how we can use our breath to send energy throughout all these different systems so that we can quicken our self-healing process. And this experience of, of reprogramming subconscious beliefs, then first just being this kind of, this intuitive process that I'm describing that that is very just uh, simple when we, when we, take stock of our inner resources and our ability to, to accomplish this, that we all have this ability to go within ourselves and, and to sort of free ourselves from first our body or our, our, the movements of the body and then free ourselves from the thinking mind and then, and then sort of re, retrace the steps of where all of that thinking is coming from into the subconscious, so to speak. So we all, we all have that ability. And, and then when we uh, bring in things like affirmations or neurolinguistic programming using words or or mentally repeating phrases to ourselves um, I'm healthy. I'm kind. I'm love. I'm joy anything like that where we're bringing our our words and really feeling them like feeling the power of the words or or feeling them when we are even if we're silently repeating them to ourselves and this can be helpful especially if we're going through a more difficult experience um, internally or externally um, that if we are sitting and we notice there's difficult feelings coming up having the reminder to repeat a um, an affirmation or a mantra something like that even once again i've said this before but just repeating om the sound om whether it's um, internally or externally out loud um, singing just helps clear energy out of the system. So um, if you love to sing, then go ahead and sing. And if you don't know what to sing, chanting Om or singing just the sound Om, just Om, and experimenting with the feeling of your heart and the energy that you release in the process. And you can you can chant it once, twice, ten times, a hundred times. There's um, in in the yoga tradition, chanting rounds of 12. Um, if you do 12, 24, 36, etc., 108 is a full cycle. 108 just happens to be the, um, the, dif the differential between the um, orbit of the sun and the moon and the earth. And there's, there's a lot of geometric ratios that all add up to 108. So there's a, a cosmic significance of that number when we are chanting or repeating it side that is a tangent so if you are ready to sort of go into this deeper experience then finding a way to bring that subconscious awareness back into the present moment so that it has become conscious and one of the simplest ways to do this is through this internalization process and staying conscious of the breath as the breath is this mediator of our awareness. When we are conscious of our breath, which is normally an automatic function, and we bring our awareness to the breath, then it sends that energy, that conscious awareness throughout the entire body. So when we pay attention to our breath, there's, there's, it's almost like this great significant event that is happening where this energy that has just traveled in through our nostrils, let's say, and when we're aware of it, now the awareness has then passed into the breath, so to speak, passed into that air that is then traveling into the body and then dispersed throughout the entire body. So you can think of that when you're breathing consciously, you're actually sending awareness throughout your entire body. And again, that the subconscious is stored in the body, this psychosomatic system, as we're sending the awareness through the breath into the body, we are literally, you know, psychosomatically releasing 
these subconscious patterns and beliefs into the sub into the conscious mind.